In this lesson, we're going to create scheduled reminders. These are going to trigger an alert to appear at a specific time. So I'm going to make a new reminder and call it Change Water Filter. Next, I need to click on the Info button over to the right. Notice here that we can choose to be reminded on a day or at a location. Select on a day and I can schedule the reminder for a specific date and time. Click here in the date field and a small calendar comes up. So we can set this for several weeks or even months from now. For this example, I'm going to set it for just a few minutes from now. I'm also going to bring up my iPhone. And when the set time comes, an alert will appear on both the Mac and iPhone because the reminder was synced via iCloud. Here on the Mac, I can interact with the alert and choose to mark the reminder as completed or use the later button to sort of hit the snooze button on the reminder and set the alert to appear again in five minutes, an hour, or tomorrow. Click on ignore and the alert's going to go away without the reminder being marked as completed. Reminders are never automatically marked as completed. Whether they are simple reminders, scheduled, or location-based, a click is needed to mark them as completed. Next, let's create a reminder called Trash and Recycle. If it wasn't for the Reminders app, my trash and recycle bins would rarely get taken out to be picked up. This occurs every two weeks on Friday morning. So I'm going to set this reminder for Thursday evening at 7 p.m. Then I'm going to head into the repeat menu here and set it up to remind me every other week. Notice that we have some preset options here, but none of those are what I need in this case. So I'm going to choose custom and then weekly and every two weeks on Thursday. Notice that we could set multiple days per week in this example, but I just need this to occur every other week on Thursday. The trash and recycle reminder is now saved and will alert me every other Thursday at 6 p.m. Between the recycle weeks, I only need to take out the trash. So I can make a similar but separate reminder for that. The next trash only day will be Friday the 31st. So I'll set up this reminder for the 30th and have it repeat every two weeks as well. So I now have these reminders occurring on alternating weeks, specifying when I need to take out only the trash or the trash and recycle bins. 